Today, we're diving into the exciting world of layer two solutions. Growth is a fantastic thing, but it often comes with its fair share of growing pains. As more users flock to blockchains like Ethereum, scalability started to become a major challenge. Transactions were taking longer and became more expensive, but don't worry, that's where layer twos swoop in to save the day. They're designed to increase speeds and reduce those pesky transaction fees. New L2s like Mantle and Linea have kickstarted a new wave of interest in these ecosystems, with many users pinning their hopes on an airdrop similar to what we've seen from Arbitrum and Optimism. Even BNB Chain, a POS chain designed to be hyperscalable from the beginning, has also recently rolled out an L2 called OPBNB. It does seem that L2 season is well and truly alive once more. Most of us are familiar with the big four layer twos, Arbitrum, Optimism, ZK Sync, and Starknet. But nowadays, it seems that new layer twos are popping up left and right. You can hardly keep track of all of them, but we've got you covered with the most notable ones in this video. First up is Bybit's Mantle Network, a new chain that only recently went live in July. Built on Ethereum, Mantle ensures users are able to enjoy Ethereum's security framework. Plus, they offer significantly lower gas fees by having the validator nodes collect transactions from users and committing them to Ethereum in the form of a compressed block. This compression helps to save users from awfully expensive gas fees and increases the total possible throughput for transactions. In May this year, a proposal passed for BitDAO and Mantle to rebrand as the Mantle ecosystem. Mantle uses Bit as its governance token and gas token with a TVL of 40 million at the time when this video was made. Next in line is Base, an Ethereum layer 2 chain incubated within Coinbase. It offers an easy way for applications to integrate seamlessly with Coinbase's ecosystem and access over 130 billion in assets on the platform. At a fraction of the cost, users gain access to the EVM environment and enjoy early access to Ethereum features, including account abstraction, gasless transactions, developer APIs, and smart contract wallets. While Base currently does not have a token, it initially attracted a lot of attention and gained over 40 million in TVL with the launch of the meme coin Bald before taking a plunge to under 10 million due to its alleged rug. However, it quickly recovered and took off again to reach 170 million at time of shooting as their on-chain summer campaign is underway, which will run till the end of August. Our next optimistic rollup layer two is OP BNB, a scaling solution for the BNB smart chain powered by a bedrock version of the Optimism OP stack. It has the ability to offload transaction processing and resource usage from the BNB smart chain, all while still posting data to the underlying mainnet. It's a win-win situation. Users can interact with the network by depositing their funds from BSC and using the available applications and contracts on OP BNB. Currently, OPBNB is still in its testnet stage, but is expected to use BNB for gas fees once live. Now we're moving into our first of many ZK rollups. Developed by Consensus, the makers of MetaMask, Linea is a fully EVM equivalent layer two network. It boasts lower gas fees, high capacity and scalability while still providing developers with the same tools and infrastructure as Ethereum. Freshly launched on the mainnet, Linea has already achieved a TVL of 12 million. As of now, the consensus team has no immediate plans for a Linea token, meaning users will continue to use ETH for gas fees. Moving on, let's take a look at Polygon ZK EVM. As a decentralized Ethereum layer 2 scalability solution, Polygon's own approach on ZK EVM uses cryptographic zero-knowledge proofs to offer validity and quick finality to off-chain transaction computation. Gas fees on Polygon ZK EVM are paid using Matic, and the current TVL stands at 31 million. Up next, we have Scroll, which is an open source, open door, community-driven layer 2 that aims to achieve a ZK EVM that is so similar to the Ethereum virtual machine that builders 
won't even know the difference. Plus, their transparency is unmatched, with every line of code playing out in real time on GitHub for everyone to see. Although Scroll is currently on testnet, their mainnet launch is just around the corner. While there is no official confirmation of a Scroll token, their roadmap outlines an incentive mechanism strongly hinting at the likelihood of a token arriving soon. Now, time for some NFT action with Immutable X, the first layer to a scaling solution designed specifically for NFTs on Ethereum. Immutable X eliminates limitations and enhances the NFT and gaming experience with improved scalability and smoother interactions. They support every Ethereum wallet type, ensuring that users have a seamless experience from gaming platforms to NFT marketplaces. IMX serves as the governance token and currently holds a TVL of 29 million. Our final layer two is the first ever hybrid rollup. Metis is an Ethereum layer two platform that offers simple and fast smart contract deployment. They're currently working on combining optimistic rollup architecture with zero knowledge rollup security and finality to offer the ultimate experience. Metis also offers an exclusive list of products, including Metis NFT Bridge, Metis Oracles, Metis Nodes, and Metis Subgraph. Plus, it doesn't hurt that Vitalik's mom is also the founder. Metis employs Metis as its governance token and for covering gas fees. Currently, its TVL stands at 40 million. There are many other L2 solutions out there that we haven't been able to cover in this video, including Fuel, the first optimistic rollup on mainnet Ethereum that was deployed back in 2020, Tyco, an Ethereum equivalent ZK EVM that recently rolled out L3s. According to Tyco, L2s are for general purpose scaling, whereas L3s will be dedicated to customized scaling solutions. Aztec, the first hybrid ZK rollup supporting both public and private smart contract execution, as well as many more that have also gotten their fair share of attention from the crypto space, all with a unique approach towards Ethereum scaling solutions. Whew, well, that was quite a journey into the world of layer two solutions. These new chains are the key to making blockchain much more scalable and accessible for the masses. But there's also the question, how many is too many? And do we even need that many to begin with? Well, safe to say, not all of them will succeed and only time will tell which will prevail. Now it's your turn to join the conversation. Which layer two solution caught your eye and why? And if you're hungry for more knowledge about ZK EVM projects, well then check out a previous video right here.